Thousands of popular diet and sugar-free foods and beverages contain an artificial sweetener that researchers say may cause cancer. The ingredient is aspartame, and it is by far the most dangerous substance on the market that is added to our foods. Aspartame is an artificial sweetener found in thousands of products worldwide, and chances are you are consuming it. It's added to sugar-free gum, juice beverages, tabletop sweeteners like Equal and NutraSweet. It's in cereals, soft drinks, yogurt, breath mints, multivitamins, wine coolers, and even over-the-counter medicines. The toxic long-term effects of aspartame are often dismissed as a hoax by the sweetener industry. However, numerous independent controlled studies using human subjects have concluded that aspartame is deadly. Now there's a number of studies that claim that aspartame is completely safe to consume, but the vast majority of those studies were conducted by, well, you guessed it, the aspartame industry. In fact, groups like Monsanto, J.D. Searle, and ILSI concluded that aspartame posed no health risk. But that's about as credible as Marlboro, Camel, and Winston dismissing the link between cigarette smoking and cancer. Have you heard of aspartame? Um, yes, I've heard of it before. Have you heard good things or bad things? I hear mostly bad things about what it. What kind of bad things? Um, just like it's an artificial sweetener and it's bad for your health and you should try to stay away. I've heard it's an artificial sweetener and I'm guilty of drinking beverages sweetened with it. Uh, however, it degenerates and it does harmful things. What do you think about aspartame? I don't like it. It gives me headaches. They did studies on, on rats. Uh, it supposedly causes cancer. Even Fox News recently reported in 2005 that artificial sweeteners had been linked to a wide range of cancers after studying uh, involving rats. So these rats actually had tumors the size of golf balls. So does that concern you when you hear stuff like that? Greatly, yes. And the FDA is supposed to be protecting us from things like cancer, not giving it to us and, and telling us it's safe. You cannot go to the grocery store now and buy any type of even regular sugar gum that hasn't had aspartame added to it. In the 1970s, Searle tried to get it approved and they couldn't. It took them three separate times because in their own studies with monkeys, large portions of them that were fed it died and contracted cancer. Now we have mainstream news articles and the EU has done a major study finding lower birth weights, early birth, and yes, miscarriages from women that drink aspartame laden soft drinks like Coke Zero. Do you think that aspartame should be on the market today? No. Why not? Because it hasn't been demonstrated to be safe. The FDA looked at the research and in 1975 put aspartame's approval on hold. It set up an independent panel of doctors to study aspartame. In 1980, that public board of inquiry unanimously ruled aspartame should not go on the market. Edith was drinking a cup of low-calorie hot chocolate that night. Aspartame made it sweet. And Johnson says aspartame made her sick. All of a sudden, I couldn't see. My eyes went out of focus and it was like my vision became quite blurred. And you think it's because of aspartame? I think it's very deliberately because of aspartame, yes. It was terrifying. Kate Randall thought she was going crazy. I started popping in my hands and twitching in my feet, my legs, my knees, my upper legs and shoulders and arms and everywhere. Many of these individuals who have been aspartame reactors have tested themselves five, ten, twenty times every time getting the same response and then they realized that this was a legitimate cause and effect relationship. What is aspartame? It is the fecal matter of the E. coli bacteria. They took it and genetically engineered it. They can feed it toxic waste and then it defecates aspartame. And it has so many bad health effects, it's just unspeakable. How do you think a product like that was managed to be approved by the FDA? Oh, I think there's loopholes to everything. And I say shut the FDA down, shut down any government agency that's not doing its job. Would you think that possibly the FDA is corrupt? I, I'm going to go ahead and say no. I, I trust the FDA with, with my health. Do you think there's a chance the FDA could be corrupt? About as big a chance as any other part of our government. 
Now, the FDA approval of aspartame was highly contested and subject to multiple congressional hearings and scientific criticism. In fact, aspartame was continuously rejected by the FDA for over 15 years until it was finally approved in 1981. Since that time, the FDA has published a list of 92 symptoms of aspartame poisoning, which includes headaches, vision loss, including blindness, seizures, neurological problems, cardiovascular problems, and death. The FDA even admits adverse reactions to aspartame comprise about 80% of consumer complaints it receives each year. Yet the dangerous substance remains on the market and is consumed by millions of people every single day. I'm Darren McBreen for InfoWars Nightly News. The FDA even admits adverse reactions to aspartame comprise about 80% of consumer complaints it receives each year.